enemies when you have a numbers advantage, my friend. If you want to catch an Ezreal, you can do a Skarner. And if you want to catch that Evelyn in team fights, make her oh. life living hell, snatch him. It's em. so strong. It's Blow so him strong. Up. I will tell you this right now. Evelyn also has no ability to contest. That struggled Skarner. on playing through side lanes throughout the tournament. Um, so this is where it has to come down to. Rainbow 7, you got to make it work. Rainbow Seven trying to run this split push composition. Only if you're looking at Unicorns of Love's perspective. Unicorns of Love. Wow, Shadow took uh, quite a lot of damage there. But it looks like they may try to set up a kill onto this Nautilus. It's a 3v1 Let dive. Go. It's going to be a 4v1 dive. The teleport comes in. Santos could be in some trouble, but he's doing a good job of the CC here so far. Santos showing up, looking to keep him alive, able to provide the lockdown. Asse's there in the front. Santos going to be taken down. First blood over to the side of Rainbow Seven with the four-man play in the bottom lane. You can just tell they were communicating that as the dive was coming through. Asse recognizing kind of the move top lane if they try to press their advantage even further. But take a look at Ananas. Whoa. It finds three members bought here. Here we go. Predator is ready to go. Oh. Jose Diodo's also here in the fight. He's going to blow up Gadget if he's not careful. Nice execution from the last caress. As Santos goes too deep under the enemy turret. Now Jose Diodo's trying to get himself away. Ananas coming around. They can't find anything. Big mistake. Unicorns of love. You guys are about to be in a whole world of hurt. No man's going to be shot to pieces by Lucian. It's three for nothing in the bottom lane. And Rainbow Seven are about to get even more. Rift Herald summoned up. They'll already have the turret down to just about two plates by the time she gets her charge off. This should actually be the complete first turret for the side. The Skarner was going to be into the Evelyn. Now you're going to be consistently invaded upon. The experience advantage is only going to get larger, and you don't have many options in fights. Right. Oh, Gadget. <laughs> oh, not a chance in the world. Jose Diodo on this Evelyn. Back to what I said in the draft. Not be taking any more of that. Look at the health just evaporate off of the thing, man. That Drake's going over. No contest. Ananasik walks up, but honestly, the man's got no business even being ah! there. Shadow did some goofy stuff over the wall. Tried to go in, but Ananasik's running himself away. Shadow coming in from the side. Hextech ultimatum down. Looking to maybe lock these guys down. Alone grab the kill onto the Skarner. Now where the rest of the fight's going to go. Boss trying to find the kill onto Alone, but now he's just going to be spinning around. The Wukong Copter not going to find the kill. Instead, he's in some trouble on his own. Here comes Cassiopeia. No man's flashing over the wall. Jose Diodo on a killing spree. Trying to get himself away. Is going to be killed in return. No man's goes down. Look at that. An ace for Rainbow Seven. Walks in, and but the Scryer's Bloom was uh, picked out. And just uh, saw them completely. And it's good that Rainbow Seven, when they're moving, they're moving as a squad for these objectives. Here we go. Ananasik tries to move in and contest the red buff. But now he's going to just get shot down by the culling. The bullets over the wall just do it all. Alone picks up the kill. Alone takes the red buff. Finish. You can see that big jump there right around the 11, 12 minute mark. And it hasn't stopped maintaining that momentum since. Rainbow 7 going after the Baron here. Four players alive on the enemy team. No jungler around. Damage coming through. Senna ulti shows up. Nice engaged by Alistar. On to three. The call is made. Secure the Baron. Now is the team fight going to happen? Yes, it is. Asse into the back line. Looking for no man's. Boss spinning around. Able to find a kill into Asse. Boss wants to get himself away. Able to find the second knockup now into Jose Diodo, who gets a kill onto Santos. Rainbow 7. They lose their top laner. So cheeky. But they Nobody would expect them to be waiting here in this brush right beside the base. All right, guys. Oh. We didn't need him anyways. We don't no. want that guy. <laughs> we don't want that guy. We want this what? guy that's worth more. Okay, he's looking for the Ezreal. There you go. Nice follow-up. They're able to put the ground on the ground. It's Miasma on the ground. It's not the ground on the ground. It's the ground and effect <laughs> on the ground. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, but UOL has at least found themselves a kill. They're looking for maybe more, but now they're all trapped behind enemy lines. I don't think anybody's coming to save them. Shadow goes over the wall. They find the kill onto the Skarner. They find the kill onto everybody now as No Man's tries to get away, but Asse needs a little bit of revenge. Flashing out. Boss joins the other solo laner of the Unicorns of Love alone, kiting back, keeping himself alive. Shadow shows up, throws him underneath the turret. They went all the way back there. They stuck around. They set the trap. They killed the Ezreal. Wrong on this Evelyn. If he finds anybody, he'll just blow him up. Nonasic clearing out some crugs. Oh, no. I found another enemy. Oh, no, Mr. Scorpion. You are about to get got, my friend. He goes after the pole. But there's your last caress. 
See you on the other side, man. There is no way out of that. That is an Evelyn with a death cap. 25 stacks on the Magi's now. The Runic Echoes. Shadow might be in a bad spot. Petrifying Gaze coming out. There's the follow-up CC from Nautilus. They should be able to lock down this kill onto the enemy support. But Shadow, nice. he's actually getting away. <laughs> Good Lord, man. The Alistar just said no. He walked out to the right. He's cosplaying Usain Bolt on that one. <laughs> he just walked away. He said, no, thank you, sir. Maybe next time. And left. And I really want to go back to that. Because they're one and two. Both of their losses were bad. Their one win was a comeback. And now they are just absolutely thrashing the unicorns of love. Boss going back in onto Jose Diodo. Nearly gets himself killed. But now the last caress is gone. That's a shutdown. Jose Diodo making his big... Don't worry about it. Baron is up now. Baron's up. 16 seconds on Jose Diodo for his mistake. You got to go for it. You were talking earlier about how you have to go for these Hail Marys. Well, tell your receivers to all go deep. It's a Baron or bust for the Unicorns of Love. Rainbow 7 moving in, looking to stop him. Boss has no ulti. Keep it in mind. Oh! Shadow's able to find the three-man knockup. Rainbow 7 going in, looking for the engage, looking for the kills, looking for the team fight. Able to find one on DeSantis. Anana stick going in. Anana stick going out. No way to close the distance on that one. The Unicorns of Love, baby. Unicorns might be real, but they're an endangered species. Double kill for the Lucian. And teleports are coming in to cut off the escape for No Man's. It's No Man's Land indeed. And No Man's Land is right back in the spawn platform now. Ace for Rainbow 7. They have a huge top lane wave tier 2. They can just end the game off this one. Rainbow 7, you heard it in the interview. It felt like it was going to be impossible for the team with how they played this tournament out that they could take down Unicorns of Love, who were, who were undefeated. But man, they look strong right now. The best game of play-in so far by Rainbow 7, Jose Diodo. Summing up the entire game with one kill at the very end. Rainbow 7 take down Unicorns of Love, and damn, do they look good doing it. JBO Việt Nam, đỉnh cuối đỉnh. Chai Việt Nam, đỉnh cuối đỉnh. Truy cập ngay chaibiovnn.com